Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ali Qureshi and this is a short lecture on IT or Information Security Risk Management. Let's see what is the content. Um, we are going to see an overview that what is a risk. Uh, we'll have a, uh, an example as well that how an end-to-end -end risk assessment works on a high level. And then we'll see that why risk and management is needed. So um, what is a risk? So uh, ISO 27005 states that potential that a given threat will exploit vulnerabilities of an asset or group of assets and thereby cause harm to an organization. So we'll be able to understand this definition uh, after looking at this example, uh, which will come afterwards. But before that, let's see this formula. This is a well-coded formula. It's called um, that risk is equal to the impact of a threat exploiting a vulnerability multiply by likelihood of a threat attempting to exploit the vulnerability. Now, you'll have to understand that when we are talking about risk, there are three or four major aspects. Number one is threat. Second is vulnerability. Third is likelihood. And fourth is impact. Combine these and you'll be able to determine what risk is. So, the probability of a threat exploiting a vulnerability resulting an impact is risk. So before going further let us see that what is a vulnerability and a threat. So a vulnerability is a weakness. Now since we're talking in the embed of IT, so uh, consider uh, that I, IT asset could be any website or a hardware server. So if there is a website and if website is vulnerable to SQL injection that is also a weakness. Threat. A potential aspect which can exploit a vulnerability resulting an impact is called threat. Now we'll be able to understand this definition better with an example further. Before that, as I mentioned, impact. So impact is the outcome of a particular threat exploiting a vulnerability. For instance, if there is a threat, when it exploits the vulnerability, the resulting outcome is the impact. Likelihood. Now, the best way to understand is with the sentence that how often does a particular threat attempts or tries to exploit a vulnerability. From that it means is that the number of times this particular threat tries to exploit this vulnerability. It could be once a day, twice a day, twice a week, 10 times a day, 10 times a week as well. Based on your requirement, you define a skill to determine likelihood and impact and risk as well. Let us see an example and understand it even better. So first of all, we'll talk about threat. So for instance, I have an IT asset since we are talking about IT, which is a website. Now website faces this threat of information disclosure. This threat can exploit this vulnerability, that is, lack of vulnerability assessment and penetration testing exercise, VAPT. If there is no VAPT, information disclosure may happen. Likelihood. Now how often uh, does this website face this threat? Now, we'll be like, okay, such attempts which may result in information disclosure happens at least once a day. We have taken this example. You may define a skill of high, medium, low, or maybe in furthermore bifurcation as well in many levels. Here we have defined it in qualitative terms, that is, happens at least once a day, and defined it as high. Now, when this threat exploit this vulnerability, the impact, we have determined it, it as financial impact greater than 10 million. This is more like a quantitative determination. A qualitative would be, shall have significant impact, and we have determined as an high impact rating. As we discussed earlier about the formula of risk, risk is basically impact multiplied by likelihood. Now, when we determined the threat information disclosure exploiting the vulnerability lack of VAPD exercise which determines its likelihood as high and impact as high. So risk rating will be impact into likelihood that is high multiplied by high. The resultant outcome will be high. Therefore the risk is high. We have calculated it based on a defined scale as we determined it, defined it for likelihood and impact. Now the question is why do we need risk management? Now organization always want to you know, manage their risk. They wouldn't want any unwanted loss or expense coming on their head. Um, so, in, for instance, if there is a regulatory body and it has its regulatory requirements to be implemented within the organization, 
that is a reg regulatory risk. Now, every organization would want to mitigate that risk by following the regulation. So, in order to implement it, there are a lot of controls which are implemented to ensure that such loss may not happen. From loss, I mean as if regulatory requirements are not uh, you know, being followed, the regulatory body may come and audit and impose a high value fine on the organization resulting in a financial impact. So managing risk also helps the higher management to basically have an oversight uh, in terms of risk about the organization. So the conclusion is you learn that what is a risk, why do we need risk management, how a risk assessment is performed on a high level which in which we discussed uh, in, in the example and what is a risk management. Thank you very much. Um, if you like this lecture, please do subscribe and like the video. If you have any request, please do not forget to comment about it. Thank you very much. Take care.